So today I am bringing you my cheddar bagel recipe. I have shown you my everything bagel recipe on the channel before, but today I'm going to give it a bit of a spin. This is one of my most popular flavors. So without further ado, let's get started and jump right into it. sand mixer, I've got my flour, my sugar, and my salt. And as always, all the ingredients and the measurements will be in the description bar. I'm going to do a double batch today because I always take care of my camera guy. And I'm going to make sure I send some bagels home with him. Uh, but in the description bar, I'm just going to have a recipe for eight bagels. And then if you want to do more because they also freeze really well, then you can just double the uh, measurements in there. Can I redo that part? <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so yeah, you can just double the measurements in the description bar if you want to make more bagels. So I've got my water here more than, oh my gosh, this is going to be a minute here. So I've got my water measured out and it's above body temperature, so you want it nice and warm. And I'm just going to start blooming my yeast. If it is instant yeast, you don't have to do this, but it's a great tip because if your yeast has gone bad, then by doing this ahead of time, you won't go through the whole process of making your bread or your bagels, whatever you're doing, um, and then come to find out that your yeast is old or expired. Um, and this way it kind of saves you from doing that, because if that's the case, then all you're um, wasting is a couple of minutes while this kind of poofs up and bubbles. Um, and then you don't waste your whole time and your ingredients. So I'm just going to get this going and stir this together and then wait for my yeast to puff up. All right, so it's been a couple of minutes now and you can already start to see the yeast get foamy on top and that's what we're looking for. So we know it's ready and we can put it in our stand mixer and get it going to mix. All right, so our dough is done mixing, so time to pop her in a large bowl. And all I've done is just grease it with a nonstick cooking spray, just so that the dough stays hydrated and nothing sticks to the bowl. So this is going to proof for about an hour. You wanna give it enough time so that the dough doubles in size. And with dough, you kinda can't rush it. So you wanna put it in a warm spot, preferably draft free so that there's no wind or wind. Why would there be wind in your house? <laughs> I guess the, the window was open. All right, you wanna put this dough in a draft-free space, um, typically somewhere nice and warm in your house. Sometimes I put mine in the microwave with obviously the microwave turned off, um, but that's a good draft-free place. This bowl, unfortunately, is a little bit too big, um, but I've got a nice warm spot in the kitchen here. So I'm just going to cover this bowl with plastic wrap and then a lint-free kitchen towel just so that all of the edges are covered and it stays nice and sealed. And then in about an hour, I'll show you when it's done. All right, so while the bagel's proof, we're gonna go ahead and make some urban garlic cream cheese. This is super easy to make at home and it's a lot better if you make it yourself than if you buy it from the store. Now, if you are in a pinch, totally the store-bought version works, but when you're going through the effort to make homemade bagels, you might as well make some fancy cream cheese to go along with it. So, in my bowl, I've got cream cheese, one brick, just softened uh, so that we can cream it together. I've got some garlic powder. I'm gonna add some salt, some black pepper, and parsley. That is my herb of choice for this. doesn't hurt. 
All right, so our bagels are all finished proofing and the, the dough has doubled in size. So keep your lint-free kitchen towels on hand because once we shape them, we're gonna wanna cover them again. Got this beautiful bubble here. And we're gonna turn out our dough and start forming. So from here, I get it into a log and that will be the easiest. You wanna get yourself a scale as well because if these are all even, then they're gonna bake all evenly and that's what we're looking for. Like I said, I'm making 16. If you're just gonna make a times one, it will make eight. So I'm gonna just do a rough chop into 16 pieces and then I'll use my scale to make sure that they are all equal. And we're looking for about 114 to 116 uh, grams per bagel. All right, so now that all the bagels are weighed out evenly, I'm gonna show you how to shape them. So come closer and I will show you. It's gonna work out once you roll it, it'll kinda already start to be a log. So you roll, and then I take my left hand, put it in my right hand, flip it over and roll onto the other side so that it seals that edge and becomes a bagel. All right, so now that all our bagels are shaped, I'm just gonna use a lint-free kitchen towel. And again, you wanna place these in a warm spot. If you're putting something in the oven, I'm roasting some vegetables, so you can put it on top, as long as it's nice and warm so that these can then rise one more time. And this one is only gonna take about 20 to 25 minutes, and then we'll egg wash, and then we'll bake, and then you're that much closer to fresh bagels. All right, our bagels have doubled in size. They're ready to go in the oven. But first we're gonna do just a little bit of egg wash. So I've got one egg beaten with just a little bit of water or you can use milk. And then that's what we're gonna brush all of them with. So I'm going to brush each one gently with the egg wash and then this will help the topping stick. So whatever ones you wanna make, if you wanna do some of these sesame, everything, um, I'm gonna do them all cheddar today and it will help everything stick and you don't have to worry about sometimes if you egg wash a frozen product you want to add the topping right away but this will not harden and i can egg wash all of them and then go ahead and top them and it'll still be sticky all right so now what i do with the cheddar is i basically give it a helping a helping <laughs> a heaping handful on each bagel and then I'll go ahead and go back after and make sure it's touching all the sides. This just helps me portion out and get it stuck to the top and then we'll go back and add it to the sides. All right, so now any remaining cheese that kind of fell off, I just go ahead and place it on the bagel so that it sticks. And then this will make sure that all the sides, when it bakes, you get those crisp, lacy edges that a good cheddar bagel is known for. And I've got my oven preheated to 350. These are gonna bake for about 20, 25 minutes. Um, I start checking at about 20. Sometimes you need to rotate the trays, just depending on if there's like a hot spot in your oven. And then they'll be ready to go. Oh my gosh, I wish you guys could smell the kitchen right now and yours will smell this good too if you make these bagels at home. They just came out, they are super, super hot, so you wanna let them cool completely, um, but I just couldn't wait to show you what they look like. Um, but I will definitely be slicing one with that urban garlic cream cheese that we made earlier uh, for the bagels and for you to enjoy. So make sure to like and subscribe. Make sure to also follow me on Instagram so you never miss when I'm baking in the kitchen or doing some cooking. Bye guys.